All right, so last week I had a lady reach out to me who was cleaning out her basement and she came across a ton of retro video game stuff. She found some Sega Game Gear stuff, Game Boy, NES, just a ton of stuff. Well, we bought it all for $100 and she said that she was cleaning out her basement and she may find more stuff. Well, she reached out to me yesterday night and she found a whole nother round of stuff. She did not mention any retro video games, unfortunately, but she did say there was a lot of vintage toys and stuff of that nature. So we're gonna pick up all that stuff this morning. And she said that she was gonna donate it all again. However, I offered her $100 for all of the new stuff she found, and she said that was perfectly fine. So let's head over to her place right now and see if we have any good stuff. And we're gonna give her $100 for everything that she found. By the way, she did not send photos of any of this stuff. However, she did mention a few of the items. She said there was some Furbies, some G.I. Joe stuff, and then I think she said some vintage Maxbox cars, which are from the 70s or 80s. She's really not sure, but that's all I have to go off of. I have no other ideas what else is in this lot, just those few items. But let's go ahead and head over to her house and pick up all these items for $100, and I will see you guys once I get there. Hello. Hi again. Oh man. <laughs> Here's the $100. Alright, uh, thank you. So, with this guy, um, this was mine when I was a kid. And when, when we moved. Is that a monkey? Yeah, they're monkeys. When I moved, I couldn't find the top of the stupid shoe. So then I saw this one at like a flea market. So okay. I bought just for the shoe. But, like, you could either, if you could get it to work, like you would press this down and he would move. Well, like you could put the hat on these things and put a penny, okay. put a penny in there. Animatronic? And he would move like that too. Okay. So, so when is that from? The 50s? Late 50s? Uh, well, I was born in the 60s, so I don't know when they came out, but these guys are best to try to pick up from the bottom. Okay. Kind of, I'll bring these going for you. Thank you. But yeah, like, what did you. Now. I'll be, I'm gonna be more, so. Okay, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what you were saying. I already know I have so many people just wanting me to open up these Matchbox cars because that's all they look for. And to be honest with you guys, I don't know a whole lot about Matchbox cars or Hot Wheels, but I do know the vintage ones. Some of them can sell for upwards of fifty dollars a piece, so I'm excited to look through there. However, let's start with these cereal boxes first. So these are, I think, empty and I have no idea. So we have a 1996 30th anniversary Super Bowl Wheaties box. And these are all in good condition. We got Frosted Mini Wheats, Rookie of the Year. We got Honey Frosted Wheaties. And this is Ken Griffey Jr. We got crispy Wheaties and raisins. And by the way, all of these are from the late 90s. Lastly, we got Jurassic Park Crunch, The Lost World. And this one is from 97. Here is a little race car. This is Wave 4 Pennzoil 21. If I could read the date on here, 1994, made in China. I don't know what this is. MM. There's a lot of little pieces in here. Yeah, I have no idea. Says we got Swindon, England, 1993. Little Triceratops head. Last thing in this box, we got some crazy bones. There is a humongous lot of these crazy bones. This might be the complete set. Looks like it goes like up to a hundred. But yeah, this might be the complete set of Crazy Bones. All right, that's one box down. Let's move on to these GI Joes. And unfortunately from looking at them, I do think these are from the 90s. Yeah, it says made in China. I think these guys are from the 90s, but there's three of them. I didn't grow up playing with G.I. Joe's, but my brothers did. Then there's stands for them as well. And then here's some extra stuff. We got some helmets. We have a rocket launcher, some assault rifles, grenades, a pistol. That's pretty cool. 
I guess let's talk about these monkeys. So these monkeys are made by Ideal Corp Toys and they were bought out by Mattel in I think 1997 and then Mattel sold them to Hasbro. However, these are from 1963, so these are really old and they're supposed to be animatronic monkeys and there's a removable hat. I think he takes his hat off or something like that. These are really creepy, I would say, but they're really cool nonetheless. I have no idea on how much they sell for. This one, she said that she got at a flea market to take parts off of to put it on this one. So this one most likely should work. I just have to put some D batteries in it. And then this one's gonna be for parts. So I'll sell this one for parts. And then this one tested working if it does work. If not, they're both getting sold for parts. No idea on how much they sell for. I will put it on the screen if I find a sold comp or even one that's up for sale because I've never seen these before. So I just looked up these working on YouTube and they're supposed to roller skate, I guess. And take a look at this video right here. That is definitely what nightmare fuel is because if I saw that thing coming down the hallway at 1 a.m., I would probably crap my pants. So yeah, these are actually definitely creepy. So I was right about that. But yeah, I guess people still want them because it reminds them of their childhood. However, I do not want them. So they are for sale. Please contact me if you want these. Okay, so here is a plethora of old toys. Now I just took this out of one of the boxes. This is all of the Cowboys and Indians stuff that I could find. Now it's made by Lewis Marks and Co. And I think it's from the late 60s, 1967 or 1968. And there is a whole bunch of figures. We got some Indians. Here's a little boy, another Indian. And then there's a lady. And there is a bunch of horses. However, all of the tails are broke off and they're not in the best shape but there is so many accessories and it's just a crazy amount of accessories. So there's headdresses, pots, pans, saddles. Some of the horses tails are in here. There is billy clubs, knives, just a ton of stuff. Super cool. I don't know the value of all of this stuff. I will put the things I can find on the screen and you guys can see how much it's all worth but definitely cool if i am going to sell all this stuff i'll probably just do an auction on ebay so be on the lookout next up i think everybody remembers these these are furbies and they still have the tag which is really cool both of them and they're in good condition so we have a white one and then we have the skunky one and i don't know how much these sell for i would say maybe 20 or 30 dollars a piece they say that they're from 1998. I think both of them, yeah, both 1998. And I gotta test them to see if they work. I'm having such a great time. In the same box with all the Cowboys and Indians, there was also these little cars. Now this belongs to a character called Billy Blastoff, and I think it's from the late 60s, and space toys and everything like that were getting really popular because of the moon landing. And these really, really took off, and a lot of people like this. So if anybody is from the 60s and remembers this, please leave a comment because this is extremely cool and I can only imagine playing with this as a kid, especially when you were watching the moon landing on TV and stuff like that, super cool. However, I think these sell for a decent amount of money as well without the figure. So I'm probably just gonna lot them up and put them on an auction. So if anybody's interested in these, please let me know. I'll probably have them for sale as an auction on my eBay store. Here's a little toy car. It is a muscle machine and it's from 2003. I don't think it's supposed to do anything. It's cool, but yeah, I don't know how much it's worth. However, it is very cool and it is from 2003. All right, here's the moment that you guys have all been waiting for, the Matchbox cars and the Hot Wheels. And I have no idea 
the value of these. I'm gonna show you guys most of the cars and then I'll probably do a little bit of research and then at the end of this little segment, show you all the cars that I think are the most valuable if I can pull them out. But like I said, I really don't know much about these and I'll just pick the ones that have the date that is, I guess the earliest from the late 60s or 70s. And maybe those are the ones that are the most expensive. We have a Baja Bruiser. This is an example of one of the cars. No idea how much this is. I do know that the red wheels indicates more valuable or more older. I guess the red wheels are what people are looking for. And we have a little Lamborghini, I think, 1987. Oh, Countach, yeah. 1987, yeah. There is a lot of police and first responder cars as well. The sheriff's car, another fire engine. Got the Golden Eagle. Rows of cars. So we got some more down here. There's another Golden Eagle. Got this hot rod from 1979. nineteen eighties fire engine. Here's a little trailer. Majorette, I think. Majorette. Made in France. But yeah, here is uh the rest of those cars. If you see any that are worth anything, let me know. And if you're interested in buying every single car that you see in today's video, reach out to me because I'm gonna be selling everything and I would like to sell everything as a lot. And I do know that some cars are more expensive than others, but if you're interested in all of these cars, please email me or look on my eBay store. All right, I don't know if this is just all miscellaneous stuff in here, but I'll go through it so you guys can see. We have a Corvette Coupe, and this is from 1995. Dodge Viper, I think 1995 as well. Matchbox Madness from Taco Bell. 4x4 Sport. This is a big fire engine trailer. Majorette again. Made in France. Got a shell trailer. This is another part of the fire department. Yeah, if you guys see anything that I should be taking a double check at, like I said, I'm going to look more thoroughly at the end of the video so I can kind of show you guys the value, but I'm not really sure. Got Hot Wheels from McDonald's. Racing team. It's a little boat. All right, so there's just so much to go through and I just went through everything for about 10 minutes and here's just some of the cars. I probably missed a ton and there is so much more cars than just these ones, but these are selling for about $10 a piece. And then we have this one, I think it sold for like 30, this Baja Bruiser. I think it sold for 50 at one point, but yeah, 30 bucks on this guy. And that's just some of the cars. So yeah, I have no idea how much to estimate this lot because I'm probably missing a diamond in the rough. However, I only paid $100 for everything, so I think this is a good buy. So unless I miss a diamond in the rough, it looks like this retail value of this lot is gonna be about $500. And it also looks like this is gonna be a multi-part series because the first part of the series was when I got those retro games from her because she was cleaning her basement out. And then the second part's gonna be this video where she found this lot of stuff. And when I was over there, she told me that she was gonna look even deeper. And once the winter time comes, she's gonna do that. She says that she has her sister stuff down there, her daughters, even more of her son's stuff. And they're, this is not even half of the stuff that she has down there. And it's all vintage games, it's all vintage toys and stuff like that. So I'm very excited. She said she was just gonna donate it all, but it looks like now I have a new connection because she's just gonna sell it all to me. And it's gonna be very exciting looking through all of the stuff that she has in her basement. 
That's gonna do it for today's video though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you saw anything in today's video that you do want, please shoot me an email. My email is down in the description below. It is very easy to contact me. If you have any questions as well, feel free to email me. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.